And Keith, good evening. So many storm victims are in this exact situation. Four months after Ian, they're still living out of a suitcase, draining their savings and running out of hope. Hurricane Ian dropped massive amounts of rain in Northport. Last month, Patricia Bell and Mike Cooper showed us how the flood devastated their home. The couple says insurance only covers a fraction of the cost to repair it, so they must do some of the work alone. It's just, it's just really kind of devastating. Pat and Mike need a place to live while they do repairs. They turn to FEMA, applying for a temporary trailer. They said, your temporary housing eligibility is over. And we never had temporary housing with them, ever. You want us to try to help you get a trailer? Yes. No simple task. We called FEMA to determine Pat's eligibility. As a backup, we put her in touch with the Florida Division of Emergency Management, which provides trailers too. We contacted the electric company and the city to find out about permitting and inspections. After several weeks of calls and emails to FEMA, you can probably see how. The agency delivered. The trailer came locked with the windows tinted. Oh, I don't even care if you can see out as long as we have a place to stay. <laughs> the next hurdle, getting into the trailer. We saw half a dozen federal contractors on site hooking up utilities and an inspector from the city as well. I know it's really been hard on her. <laughs> it has. <laughs> I have not handled it as well as he has. I'm much more emotional and... Uh, He's listened to me cry a lot. Patricia says Florida Power and Light has now conducted their last inspection. She believes they'll be in the trailer within a week. The goodness that we have seen from humanity, the other people who have opened their homes to us, to Channel 8, who has, I mean, you I told you, you are our hero, Matza. I don't know what we would have done without you because I honestly don't think that we would be one step closer to even having a trailer here on this lot if it wasn't for you. So it's my pleasure. And of course, we're going to continue to follow their journey. We want to be there when one day they move back into their real house. Now, FEMA would not talk about Pat's case, citing privacy concerns. However, they do say that all of these steps are necessary to make sure that people are in a safe space and a sanitary space. So it's a little bit slow. Yeah. It is slow. You have to wait for it. And it's a financial burden. It is because they have to pay for their mortgage, but they can't live in the house and they have to pay for a rent. They're draining their savings. So this cannot come fast enough. Yeah.